Hi, back with you again, and today we are going to review the Stealth Performance Saddle. Yeah, so basically, this is a short nose saddle with a big cutout in the middle to relieve your perineal pressure. So for this one, I got the 142mm wide to accommodate my seat bones. And for this one, they do have the curve and non-curved model, which curved ones actually have a bit more curve at the back. And as you can see, polyurethane cover and also quite comfortable, I think, in my opinion. And a bit different from the normal stealth saddle, which is a lot more swoop at the back. And as you can see at the front also, it's slightly narrower than the normal stealth saddle. And we've got here the Inox rail which is if you want a carbon rail, then you can get the Performance Team saddle, not the Performance Limited saddle. At the back here, we've got the attachment for your GoPro or your light mount in case if you don't want to put it on your seat post. And yeah, so that's basically it. Um, it's very comparable to my Bonregor AL saddle. However, of course, this one is slightly more expensive. So if you can see here, there's this weird cutout for installation setup. And how basically you install it is that you use this U-shaped cutout and then put it on your old seat. And then you measure the length from the handlebar to that point of that uh, tool. And eventually, after you switch your old seat to the new seat, then you basically just put the same measurement from the handlebar to that cutout um, you know, position and that's actually how you can accurately uh, put your saddle which I think I find it quite handy I purchased this seat for about $110 which is like half price from the original RRP of $220 so I think it's a good bargain and now I'm just going to show you around how does the seat look like Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video and find it helpful and please like and subscribe.